Joining us right now, Fox News special report anchor Brett Baer. Brett, welcome back to Houston's Morning News. Good morning. How are you doing, man? Good. It's great to have you here with us. I've been asking the audience uh, this morning, let me ask you just real quick. I'm asking them, do they feel that uh, there was an appropriate amount of coverage of the 10th anniversary of 9-11? Was it too much? Uh, Was it not enough? What are your thoughts? Well, having done an hour show, I think it was... uh it was pretty good. Uh, overall, I think, um, listen, 10th anniversary is a big deal. And whether you look at it as a cathartic thing uh, or you look at it as a moment where we look forward about, uh, you know, how this country moves forward. I mean, right. clearly 10 years ago, America changed. And um, it's a big day, a big event. And I, I think... Um, you know, I didn't see all the coverage, but I saw Foxes, and I thought it was appropriate. And I thought that you did an excellent job, by the way. Um, what what you did was was very, very good, as it always is. Hey, Brett, it's Thank Lois Melconian here. You know, looking at tonight's GOP presidential debate and the uh, Perry-Romney issues that happened in the last debate, what does Michelle Bachman have to do to be considered formidable again? Well, that's a great question, and, and I think that uh, she will have to shake up uh, this debate uh, tonight, our next debate is September 22nd, and there's, I mean, the onus is really on her to make a, a difference. Uh, I heard people argue that she didn't get enough questions or enough time the last uh, time, the last debate, um, but I will tell you that uh, she'll need to make an impression because the latest national poll has her falling behind even Herman Cain and Newt Gingrich. Brett, uh, if you'd hang on just uh, one second when we come back, uh, I want to ask you uh, about the strange bedfellows that are CNN and the Tea Party Express and your thoughts on that. Back to the information and conversation with Matt. This is your Houston Morning News. Fox News Special Report anchor Brett Baer joining us here this morning. And Brett, thanks so much uh, for taking the time. Uh, sure. CNN Tea Party Express, uh, a strange bedfellows. Now, the Tea Party Express saying, oh, it makes a tremendous amount of sense because they have uh, really you know, garnered the attention of the country as far as uh, their issues and their values. I don't know, though, Brett. I, uh, I I see something far more sinister afoot. Uh, you do? Yeah. I don't know. Listen, media partners uh, happen, and they. Uh, I'm sure the debate will be very interesting. Wolf Blitzer is the moderator, and um, he was on the radio this morning and saying uh, there's no Coke and Pepsi questions. Uh, I think it'll be fun. And... Uh, I, listen, any time these candidates agree to a format and they get engaged, I think it helps the voters to differentiate between the candidates. And really, that's what these debates are all about. Hey, Brett, on the other side, will the jobs program that President Obama is floating with Congress and the American people improve his image? Wow. Well, I think he has uh, an uphill battle to really sell that to uh, Congress, especially skeptical Republicans. And, uh, you know, there are even Democrats who are pushing back, saying it's not big enough, not bold enough. He'll send it up today with a Rose Garden uh, a speech uh, at, I think, 1030 our time. And then uh, he'll send the actual bill up. Uh, one of the big questions is how he'll pay for it. And uh, yes. maybe we'll hear some more details about that today. Want to bet that we don't? Uh, I probably wouldn't take that bet, but uh, <laughs> maybe we'll uh, hear a framework. Fox uh, News anchor, special report, uh, Brett Bear. Hey, listen, thanks for taking the time. I know you're a busy guy. We certainly uh, love having you on here. Hey, ha- happy to be here. All right. Yeah, we appreciate that.